the thing with a lot of people who try to like defend Luke, I see, is they have this idea of like, you need to like cause a really violent revolution in order for anything to change. And you have to like do it in the most aggressive, horrible way that like harms the most people. And like sometimes in history, you know, there are times where that is necessary because everything else has been tried and nothing else has worked. And so the people have like no other choice. I don't think you guys actually got what Rick Riordan was trying to say mm -hmm. in these first five books because you don't need to do that. Like, you don't need to set fire, like, literally and figuratively to your entire life and everyone around you in order to get things to change. Sometimes, when it comes to, like, family situations like this anyway, sometimes knowing how to talk to everybody involved without, like, burning everything to the ground is actually the thing that gets more things done. Yeah. Because you cannot tell me that... The reason why Percy did anything successful with helping the demigods is because of Luke. Because Luke just delayed everything for like years. Like 12 year old Percy, when he gets to camp, one of the first things he says is that he knows that it's wrong that these kids at camp aren't being claimed and he got claimed right away. And like, why do I get to be claimed when all these other kids never get to? Or like when he meets kids later on that whose parents are not like one of the major gods and so they don't have like a cabin at camp and he's like every kid deserves to have like a place at camp and so yeah it isn't right that there aren't cabins for like the lesser known gods and we should we should build them because everyone should have a place at camp those things would have happened so much faster if the world wasn't falling apart for years on end and it, it would have happened way quicker because he would have actually had time to like actually use his position as Poseidon's kid to get the gods to do this stuff. Like the violence of everything is what like delayed that from happening. And like, I feel like I can say this because of my own life that like, I don't honestly don't even know like what I would have done in my life for the last five months. The two family members that have been paying literally all of my bills for the last five months because I was unemployed, ran out of unemployment and I have no other money. And it took until like this past week to actually get a job. Um, like I have had literally nothing at all. The only money I've been getting is from family members whose like relationships I've gotten back in the last couple of years. Those people would not have talked to me anymore if I would have gone on the internet and like blown everything up and had strangers contacting them because I was making videos on the internet, even if I was right for being upset, I guess this is like a bigger idea that is reflected well with this story. It's like, yeah, the like victims or whatever, like, yeah, we should be upset. Mm -hmm. And yeah, we are allowed, we are allowed to be mad. Like Percy is like the number one person that if he ever wanted to like yell at the gods and beat them up or do something against them, you could understand more than anyone why he would want to do that because of how much stuff he's constantly under still yeah. because of, just because he was born. He had nothing to do with that, but he's under so much stress because of that. You can understand why, but he is never going to do that. He's not, just because we could do that doesn't mean that we actually want to. <laughs> That's part of being like a survivor to say of situations like this is that you know you could do that, but you also like care a lot about people and so you don't want to do that because when you've been through something, I guess this is like a good example to just to, to like compare like Percy versus Luke is like when you've actually been through like really, really traumatic stuff that like really hurts you a lot and you know how horrible it feels to go through that. You don't want anyone else to feel that way. Even the people that have hurt you, you know, because you know how bad that feels, you know, that it doesn't actually help anything. And you know that like, even if you do, get a bunch of people riled up against the people that are that hurt you, it doesn't actually change anything that happened to you. Mm -hmm. And so it doesn't like fix anything. Like Percy could get like everyone to turn against the gods and try to start like a, re a, like, a revolt or whatever too, but it doesn't change all the traumatizing things that he's been through. It just creates more trauma on top of things that he already has experienced because now he would be in the middle of this huge mess on top of everything else that has already happened to him that he hasn't dealt with. And he's aware in these books that like, that's not actually gonna help anything. And I just want to help people so that they never experience 
what I have experienced. And that's usually where most of us end up. Luke is okay with creating all this violence and hurting all these people around him and almost like enjoys it. He doesn't actually know what it's like to be like one of his victims. Yeah. He's just resentful of other people. And so he thinks that he should just do whatever he wants. But it's like, if he was actually aware or cared about how he was hurting people, he wouldn't want to do it anymore, but he doesn't actually care. And so he's fine with doing like this crazy violent thing that he knows likely won't work. Or even if he, honestly, in the stories, he's like quite sure that it's going to be successful um, until the very end when he realizes that he's not, that it's not. And he's like, I might as well just take myself out now to act, to like give myself something. So they don't just like throw me into the fields of punishment for all time, which they should do that anyway. <laughs> like I literally hope that he's there. Um, but that's like a good example of like, like it's a really easy way to tell when somebody is actually like really severely like traumatized by their life versus mm -hmm. somebody who had some traumatic things happen to them, but they're so wrapped up in their own stuff that they don't, they use that as an excuse to do the bad things they're doing to people. Because yeah. most of us have been through the most stuff are like the most empathetic people out there like Percy is who would like do anything at all to help somebody so that they never feel what you have felt. They would never want to inflict that onto other people because we know that doesn't actually get anywhere.